Hello everyone, Timo here and welcome to my 1979 BMW Procar M1 Custom Championship. This part one will be all about setting up the Custom Championship, so let's jump right into it. So that was my dummy, but now we're gonna do it from scratch here. Let's hit new. Let's hit the Pro Car M1 1979 Custom Championship. Maximum opponents is set to 19, like in real life, meaning that I will have to exclude some drivers from my custom AI. I will show that a bit later to you then. So as you can see, I've already prepared five venues or locations. But before we go into the tracks and as a surprise and goodie, I will then finally add one more. Let's first take a look at the other options here. For the name, I pick Pro Car M1 1979 Championship Vehicle Class. This is, of course, only the M1 Pro Car. Number of opponents, it's 19. I'll then be number 20 in it with a sort of neutral car. And as score type, yeah, I picked top 10 standards. Let's have a quick look. Because, well, apart from there being some blanks, none of these actually is close enough, let alone accurate. So, the top 10 standard is the closest I can come to the original score type, which I will display here on screen now. So let's pick top 10 standard. No pit stop refueling allowed, no full course yellows because, well, not authentic. And I opted for a yeah potential eventual pit speed limit of 120k because again, it's full damage. I also have mechanical failures on, which are synchronized to the race. And as this car class is <laughs> actually the most vulnerable in AMS2, there should be a lot of, or at least a decent and close to real life amount of DNFs. As a custom AI, I'm using USKS or JUSKS, fantastic XML file, which I have further tweaked, meaning I have reduced it to 19 specific drivers, have revised some of their race skill because I, I found that they were still too closely matched. But most of all, I've added for all drivers the value vehicle reliability. As you can see probably now on the screen, here and there I've reduced it drastically. Also accordingly to their yeah, real life performances. Because again, these cars were liable to not make it. And if you take a look at the real results, you will quickly notice that the average amount of finishers was about 10. So, in other words, half of the field did not make it till the end. Let's take a look at the calendar so far. Hop into the Imola first race. Offset qualifying to 20 minutes, start time 12 o'clock. Real time, of course, default progressing of the track conditions. And for the race, I've picked 19 laps, which is about that length they would have done yeah so i'm always heading for 30 minutes of course they did not race at imola so we had to make an estimation here i've picked the monaco date start time will be 1300 real weather it will be they had a standing start there was of course no mandatory pit stop and also default progressing but that will be then based on the track conditions after the qualifying so actually it's about it's roughly 30 minutes races with no pit stop, pure and proper racing. The first race will be Imola Historic, then we're going to Silverstone Historic 1975 for a 20 lap race. But here I picked an earlier date just to have a bit more of a variety in our championship, also regarding the lighting and the time of day. But actually, I would like to select Silverstone with the chicane because that's in my opinion more fun with this cars it is mainly mid to high speed corner tracks and so the throttle control is almost everything third stop will then be Hockenheim historic 1977 with the super fast Ostkurve historic date July 28th for 15 laps start time here 1500 then we'll head over to Austria for the historic Spielberg track. 17 laps it is 
on the 12th of August, starting time 1500. And the preliminary final stop will be at the Monza Historic 71 10K version for, yeah, 10 laps. Starting at 5 p.m. So I think we should or could run into a sort of sunset or at least say a dusk. But guys, I'd like to add one more round. And that can only be the Nordschleife historic version of 1971. And for that one, we'll increase the qualifying time by quite a bit. We, we will need a bit more so to make it possible for everybody to do at least three, perhaps four laps in qualifying. But also, it will be four laps as one lap... Yeah, it takes a bit longer than 8 minutes, about 8.10 perhaps for me. We will start at midday and our date will be the 23rd September of 1979. I don't have a clue what weather this is going to be, but I'd say this sort of surprise and randomness is quite fitting for a cool finale. So let's save this one. Here it is then. Six venues. Imola, Silverstone, Hockenheim, Spielberg... Monza, Nordschleife, all in their accurate historic variants. And finally, I'd like to select my car, which will be the Martini number 80 in a yeah, sort of fictitious Martini livery that I've got from race department. Links in the description below. All the other liveries in here are from, in my opinion, the best 1979 pack you can have for Automobilista 2. Links, of course, also down there. So, all right, we're all set up. Can hit start now. To finish this off, let's quickly go through the driver roster. Apart from me, it's Walter Brun, Alan Jones, Teuner Hesemanns, Wolfgang Schütz, Elio De Angelis, Markus Höttinger, Sepp Mannhalter, Jolu Lafosse, Nicky Lauda, Manfred Winkelhock, Jacques Lafitte, Hans-Joachim Stuck, Didi Pironi, Dieter Quester, Claire Regazzoni, Bruno Giacomelli, Max Sura, hans Georg Burger and Nelson Piquet. A very cool and diverse mix and match of Formula 1 drivers, professional touring car drivers and privateers. The opponent skill luckily can be altered and adjusted before every race. So for Imola, which I've already done two test races on, I will go for 107. Let's see how that fares. So guys, that's my setup and how you create a custom championship in AMS2. You can take this as a blueprint for your own championships. Thanks for watching. I will see you shortly for the first race on Imola Historic 1972. Have a good time. Happy racing. Until the next one then. Bye.